the public have an interest in knowing whether or not their heir to the throne is lobbying government. The attachment is deep to the institution of monarchy. The royal family remains an indelible part of our public life. The point is, this is such a kind of travesty, really, of democracy. Hereditary principle is offensive to democratic values, and we're supposed to be a democratic society, a, a nation of equal citizens. We have a monarchy that, around the world, has the most incredible amount of respect. That sense of magic, I think, is a bit like sparkle dust at the top. The Royal Family costs about $260 million a year. Actually, that's a deceptive figure because there's loads of things that aren't included. So it costs a lot of money at a time when Britain is going through really extreme austerity. Surely it's time to think that we need a different kind of stability, not one that is a kind of dependency on an old world. The fact that the symbol of our country is selected solely through the most snobbish criteria of all, bloodlines, who their parent was, has a disfiguring effect on the whole of British society. The whole place is like a front door for British imperialism. They willfully exploit their position in terms of lobbying government in secret and behind closed doors. 